All right, next, Chris Bosh. Oh, first ballot, no question. Hands down. He's got the numbers. Uh, it's like he's a billion All Star games. A billion. Uh, I'm, you know, obviously he said, I, you know, hy hyperbole in the English language <laughs> to quickly and efficiently make the point that he has more all stars than everybody else we've discussed on. The, he on does. The he does. He uh, does. Yeah, he's no question. And uh, we, we've discussed on the show before. And I'm going to give my co-host a little credit here. Oh, that is that, let, me yeah, yeah. A, let me take a picture or something. I I, all the time. man. Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, I had to do something. <laughs> Chris Bosch, uh, the people think that he took a quote-unquote reduced role with the Miami Heat, but what he actually did showed more talent than what we were aware of because you could have made the case that in Toronto he was Boogie Cousins, right? Mm -hmm. A guy who's not, even though he had more success than Boogie, but a guy who's going to put up big, big numbers, but you don't really know if he's a winner. Mm -hmm. And in a situation where... I heard this great quote about LeBron James uh, where they said he's like Galactus from the Marvel Universe where he's powerful, but he sucks the power out of everything around him in order to mm -hmm. be powerful. Mm -hmm. And in that situation where LeBron needs things formed around him in this way, Bosch became a stellar defender, a stellar catch and shoot guy and when things weren't going right for lebron and james wade at the drop of a hat he'd go out and get you 30 and turn into old chris bosh so few players in nba history have that ability chris bosh is a hands down uh first ballot hall of famer and i actually i almost want to say i put him above uh Paul gasol i uh, i i i do he is he is did, did chris win a gold medal um, did, did he ever win a gold medal? It feels know. like he did, but let's. I don't know uh, if he was a gold, gold medalist. I don't know. It feels like was, he did. Though. If he yeah, did, I, if he if he did, obviously that just. Yeah, then it's, yeah, no question. But yeah, first ballot, first ballot. I think he's he's the. Uh, I mean, I think him and Powell, from a talent standpoint, are relatively close. But I would say. I, I think he's. I think he's far more athletic. I mean, yeah, but Powell was also stronger and bigger, and I don't know. I, I think I think um, it's hard he, to say. He did because win. He, he won a gold medal in 08 in, Be in, in Beijing. In Beijing, right? There's no question. Uh, first ballot, open and shut case. Only there, there, I don't think there's anybody that would shove him out of, you know, getting a first ballot. But the only people that are above a guy like Chris Bosh are guys that are – MVP guys, your Kevin Durant and Kobe Bryant and Michael Absolutely. Jordan, like that. But Chris Bosh is, you know, but because those guys are so few, yeah, you know, they don't take up all of the space in the first ballot Hall of Fame. Chris Bosh shares that space with those guys in the guaranteed open and shut. No way you don't put me in. Yeah, I would one hundred percent agree. Chris yeah. Bosh is is easily a first ballot Hall of Famer, and anybody who says that he's not doesn't really know what they're talking about. I yeah. mean, he, I mean, dude, I mean, I mean, just five years in a row, averaging over 20 a game, you know, five, I mean, very few guys do that. And from the age 21 all the way to age 31, he was an all-star. He retired at eight. People don't realize he retired at 31 years old and yeah. he'd averaged 19 points a game, 19 and seven in his last season that he played. Right. Th there's i mean and no serious injuries great none. locker room guy yeah well I mean, the God, only I'm time he got re only time he really was was the condition you know in in, oh, in yeah, four at yeah, yeah, yeah yeah at the end and, in that, 14, and that wasn't a exterior physical injury that was no. an interior heart blood yeah thing. he got hurt in 11 12 too though he only played 57 games that year um, I mean, only fifty-seven. That's a that's a good that's a, that's a, that's an Anthony Davis year right there. Nah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, and he actually the funny thing is he always missed games, but he never, you yeah, know, it, wasn't it was a significant. Issue. It wasn't like oh god, big guys miss games, but yeah, yeah. big guys gonna miss games. So, but yeah, the the, the guy, the guy's a beast. He was absolutely. I, I remember listening to an interview he had, and he was like, um, I, it was when LeBron had left. And 
the I, I was just I was taken by the the competitiveness. He said, "Man, you guys forgot, man. I can really play this game." Yeah, <laughs> and I yeah. was like, "Yeah." In, in fact, one Get thing him, I was Chris. saying that the shame about the Cleveland LeBron ending with the whole Chris Bosh thing, because what what it upset me about it was that they killed two Eastern Conference teams to create one, which is mm -hmm. why LeBron went to the finals over and over because he didn't have to compete against Toronto and Miami, right? But yeah. my thing was, if uh, Chris Bosh had simply gone to Cleveland, I thought LeBron would have won a championship there with Chris Bosh. And that's how good I think Chris Bosh is. Um, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, Chris Bosh, no question.